Most people would recognise Florence's Ponte Vecchio, famed for its beauty, history and its gold shops. But fewer people know that running along the top of it is a 500-year-old corridor. Inside you can retrace the steps of the Medici families. The corridor linked their offices at the Uffizi back to their home at Palazzo Pitti. The corridor was built by Giorgio Vasari in 1564 and it actually houses a very modern collection of portraits. There are a thousand paintings here from the 17th and 18th centuries, including Andrea del Sarto, Beccofumi, Bernini, Rubens and Canova, and today it's being modernised further. I had the privilege to uh, choose a new self-portrait of 20th century just to increase the visible uh, part of the collection, uh, uh, which uh, until a few days ago um, uh, finished in the Vasari Corridor with Chagall and Guttuso. Um, we introduced 130 new uh, self-portrait by artists uh, of 20th century, which were uh, storage but waiting to be exhibited. Artists were asked to donate their works and hundreds responded. The Vasari Corridor was built in five months by order of the Grand Duke Cosimo I. It was commissioned in connection with the marriage of Cosimo's son, Francesco. Originally, Giorgio Vasari wanted to build the corridor, so it went in a dead straight line. But just behind me, there is a tower called the Manelli Tower. There were originally four of them marking each of the entrances to the Ponte Vecchio. But the Manelli family, at the time the corridor was being built, refused to demolish their tower. So therefore, Giorgio Vasari needed to build the corridor so that it swerved around it. And today, that is the only one of the four towers that remains. It's possible to join a guided tour through the corridor so you too can enjoy the mix of the old with the contemporary.